Okay, my camera is resting on this pool floaty. I pray to God it does not fall in the water. <sighs> Better not fall in the water. That would be mad because this camera is not waterproof. Just trying to get a quick video of me on this floaty. I'm trying not to go too far away from this one just in case the camera falls. These uh, two floaties are what I found in Santa Cruz when I was there a couple other days. Uh, a couple days ago. This one here, this uh, blue donut one I'm on. And the pink one that my pink camera is sitting on right now. And uh, let me see if I can get... <gasps> camera almost fell. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. This is the pink floaty. I found the mattress floaty I found in Santa Cruz on the beach. I literally found this one on the beach. It was over by the jetty where all the birds were at, over by the boardwalk. Um, they were all, a bunch of them were resting over there. And when I went over there, of course, they all flew away. But, well, not all of them, a, a lot of them. <laughs> but yeah, I found this here on the beach in Santa Cruz. And as you can see, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It took me quite a while to blow it up. But uh, got it finally got blown up and it's in the pool. And I was on it for a little while, as you can see in my other video. And now I'm on the little donut thingy. Oh, let me see. And the cool thing is, these two uh, floaties I found in the pool. Uh, I didn't find them in the pool. Uh, that I found that go for the pool is they're my favorite color. Yay! I got this pretty blue one. It took me forever to blow up. Oh my god. Anyways, these got Hawaiian flowers on it. Oh, one Hawaiian flower and the Hawaiian leaf. And then a uh, white. And then the rest are all on the other side. You can see they're all blue. If you can see that without the glare of the sunshine. Anyway, and there goes my pink mattress floaty and there goes the blue one. They keep floating away from me. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, so I found these on the beach. This one here, the blue one, I actually found it, you know, at the above, above the stairs at, over at the boardwalk, sitting by a trash can and on the, the boardwalk part itself by the stairs. But it was like next to the trash can. I mean, it's like if they didn't want it, they should have thrown it in the garbage can instead of just leaving it laying there. But that's okay because I found it. Because well, I'm not going to go dig in the garbage, but not at all. But if it's like laying there out in the open and nobody is coming for it and everybody is just like left, then yeah, I'm going to grab it because it's like there's no reason to leave this behind. I mean, this thing is perfect. And so is this pink mattress. And my uh, purple swimsuit goes well with these three things. They're my three favorite colors, pink, blue, and purple. And of course the turquoise color of the pool. I love this pool. And I love these little floaties. Like, I've always wanted to get one, or both. <laughs> but I didn't want to ha have to spend the money because I really can't afford it right now. So, these were a lucky, lucky find for me. I got lucky, lucky, lucky. Yay. But that's only because people left their crap behind. As I said in my other video, which seriously pissed me off, is people leave all kinds of garbage on the beach. They leave electric blankets, which is beyond me. Yeah, I found an electric blanket. I could not believe I found an electric blanket on the beach. I mean, yeah. Um, I actually saw this blanket laying on the beach with what I thought was the towel when I was walking along the beach around, what was it, between 6 and 7 o'clock. It was around 6. It wasn't quite 7 yet. So yeah, like I was walking along the beach and I was going back to the stairs to go back to my car for something in the car that I had found. I found a really nice green towel with a little monkey face on it. <coughs> and a really pretty, uh, really cool white shirt. 
But so I brought those home and I washed them, but the shirt was had spots on it, so of course I threw it away. But anyway, um, it was a really nice shirt that you wear, like um, Under Armour, kind of like what you wear when you're going skiing or hiking or whatever when it's cold. But yeah, so I threw that shirt away after I washed it because it was spotty on the front. The back was fine, but the front was all spotty. But anyway, so yeah, I was walking along the beach and I was going back to my car to put the towel and the shirt in my car and I saw this blanket and what looked to be a towel laying on the beach and there was like other people over by the water so I figured oh, okay it's theirs you know they'll come back and get it but then I went back about nine about nine o'clock at night and it was like completely dark so I had to use my flashlight to see where I was going on the beach and I went to, I went to go back just to check and see if it was gone or not because I wasn't quite sure that um, if those people that I had seen over by the water, if it belonged to them or not, and it probably did, but I don't know. Um, but because I had found so much crap on the beach already, I figured like it's probably not theirs. And obviously it wasn't, who knows whose it was. Because when I went back at nine o'clock, when it was dark, I saw a few bonfires on the beach, like off in the distance. So it obviously wasn't those people's. So I went to go look over to where I saw the blanket, and sure enough, it was still there. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to find this really cool blanket, and I'll take it home, and I'll wash it, whatever. But no, this blanket ends up being a full-size, like, queen-size blanket, and it is an electric blanket. I'm like, really? Who is going to bring an electric blanket on the beach? I mean, why would anybody want to bring an electric blanket on the beach? Seriously? That makes absolutely no sense to me. But then, of course, you know, what I thought was a towel that was laying with it, it was not a towel. It was actually this extra large um, shirt. Uh, I forget what brand name it was. I think it was Haley Hansen or something. Uh, Van Hausen, something like that. It was a really nice shirt, but it was like an extra large. So, like, And I don't know anybody who's an extra large, so I figured, like, well, I'll just leave that. But I didn't leave it laying on the beach. I actually walked back to the stairs where I came down to go get it. And I folded up the shirt and I hung it over the railing. Along with the shoes I found there by the blanket. I put that over by the railing as well. And then I found a few other shirts and shoes. And then so I left those on the stairs and on hung over the railing as well. So whoever they might belong to come back in the morning and they'll see them and they'll get them. Hopefully. That was my hope. The blanket though, I was going to bring it home, but then I'm like, and wash it, but I'm like, no, it's an electric blanket. I don't know how to wash an electric blanket, honestly, without ruining it. Not to say that it probably wasn't already ruined as it was. So, um, I just folded it up very nicely and neatly, and I hung it over the railing at the very top of the stairs. So anybody who passes by in the morning will see the blanket, and maybe they'll pick it up, and they'll either take it home and do whatever with it or they'll go donate it to some homeless person because there's a lot of homeless people in Santa Cruz and maybe one of the homeless people can use it or maybe a homeless person would find it and they would use it who knows but anyway so yeah I found an like I said the electric blanket and I found shoes I found several shirts I found these two floaty things I found a towel I found some toys and I found numerous other items and like I was going to bring the toys home because they're like this, the kind of toys that like you play in the sand with and I like to play in the sand. I'm, I'm still a kid at heart. So I was going to bring them home but then I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. And then the other clothes, of course, you know, I, I, like I left the other clothes there. Um, I did actually bring home one outfit that was really, really nice that someone had left buried in the sand. I mean, I, at first I was going to throw this outfit away but because I, I thought, when I first saw it kind of half buried in the sand, I thought, okay, well, whoever left it, they left it because it was filthy, dirty, and disgusting, and probably holy and torn apart or whatever. But I picked it up, I shook it out, I was going to go toss it away. But then as I was shaking it out, I noticed how good a shape this shirt and the pants were in. And I was like, wow, I was surprised how good a shape they were in and how nice they actually were. And, um, so I was like, you know, well, what the hell? So I brought them home with me and I washed them. And actually, the and I 
normally don't wear clothes that I find.